just got. I, I did work uh, Tuesday night uh, over at the theater, but uh, other than that, not much. And then we picked the kids up from school, drove up to Kansas City, watched the Royals game Wednesday night. Oh, how fun! Stayed up there, and then the next day got up, just got a late checkout, spent the day in the hotel, the pool, hanging out. Went to the Chiefs game that night. Got to see Nadia absolutely kill that national oh, man. anthem. She was so good, and she got to shake Andy Reid's she hand. Did. She did. That was yeah, the best that was part. that was awesome. It, we we got we got to <laughs> we got to uh, run into her in the in the uh, concourse or whatever, you know. So we get to see her, and like uh, you know, we've known Nadia for a long time. Go, Nadia, she's, oh, were you nervous? She goes, you know, I really wasn't nervous. She goes, I was good. I was great. And then I got up there onto the 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 little platform they had me on. I'm still good. I look up right in front of me was Patrick Mahomes. She said. I got a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Could you she imagine? Was so good. No. She did so good. Yeah, Nadia, Nadia's See, great. See, this is why I, I don't do national anthems, because it, I don't know if you know this, but for singers, if you when you get nervous, your voice quivers. Yeah, yeah. If your voice is quivering while you're singing, that means you have an uncontrollable vibrato, okay? Mm-hmm. You know what a vibrato is, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Some people have too much of it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, say, he can't. I mean, that's what happens, right? Yeah. So I don't want to get out there because I know I'm going to get nervous. Right. Right. And then what happens? Then you sound. Then you're that guy that's going viral on the internet because you're. Yeah. They think you just you're not good, but you're so nervous that you're uncontrollable. Right. Or you're going to forget the words. Yeah. Well, and, which that's a lot of singers say that's why they're nervous because they know it's so important that they mm-hmm. will. It is the most nerve. I did the national anthem one time. Tina talked me into it. Where at? Uh, at the uh, breast cancer. Janet Ellis. Okay, let me tell you this. <laughs> we were at the Cedar Ridge High School on the football field. And I, I'd already said no for 20-something years. Oh, the yeah. relay no. for life, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah, no, thank you. I'm, I'm not interested. I mean, I, 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 God bless America, and, and then I, I, I'm not your guy. Yeah. I don't want to do it because I can't handle the pressure. If something right. goes wrong, I get nervous. My voice quivers. I forget a word. I'm that guy. Then I'm one of those guys. So I'm like, no, no, no. And Tina's, come on, honey. It's just it's for the breast cancer awareness. And Tina's mom was going through cancer. And, you know, we were big yeah. sponsors of that for quite some time. So I get out there. I'm on this big, tall stage in the middle of the field. Janet Ellis is uh, emceeing the, the thing. And she's standing right off my left shoulder. And here we go. Oh, say can you see by the dawn. And I don't know if I was third or fourth line in. I, I just <clears throat> froze up. And Janet takes over. Uh-huh. And it well, was she so- didn't mean to. She no, just was wailing was, behind She him. was yeah. singing along with me. And I stopped. And she kept going. And it was enough to trigger me, but it was so funny. Oh. She did like a whole line by herself, and it was not, I mean, I, God, I love her. Yeah. But it was not, you know, <laughs> she was in a little different key than I. <laughs> That's hilarious. But, and I'm, so never, I told her never again. So then I get a call from Tony Orlando uh, a few years later. It, it, it's been 15 years or more. And he says, Clay, Clay, <clears throat> Clay, I, you know, hey, buddy, uh, I'm scheduled to do the national anthem at Bush Stadium. Uh, for the Cardinals versus, uh, it doesn't matter, another ML Major League Baseball team. You know, regular season baseball. And uh, my voice is down. I can't do it. Uh, it'd be a great, uh, I, would you like to fill in for me? I'm like, uh, no, no, thank you. He goes, really? Because it's going to be nationally televised and, you know, 40, 50,000 people there. I said, Exactly. <laughs> no, thank you. Why I'm saying no, he Tony. He was just making your argument, wasn't he? Right. I'm like, no, thank you. He's like, really, Clay, this is a great op-. I'm like, I know, Tony. Thank you so much for the offer, but no, thank you. I just, you, if something goes wrong, it's it's on everybody's phone for the rest of yep. eternity, mm-hmm. right? So God bless Nadia for jumping out there and, and killing I, it. I don't know what it is. I don't get nervous. I, I mean, I never get nervous, but that would do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would do it because you're all alone. You're dry out there. No background music. No nothing. And the world is watching you. They really are. You're 100 percent right. No, no, let me I, I, if you can give me a quick answer on this, because we got to get into the spots really quick. OK, a quick answer. And, yeah, oh, quick yeah. answer. So so at the theater up on the wall, there's a picture of you. It's like it's a shadow box and it's got some gloves in it. And it talks about that. Uh, it's the front page of a paper. Oh, yeah. Were you seeing the national anthem in that picture? No. No, I was hosting a, uh, a it was a a, a roaming uh, 
veterans uh, Vietnam wall uh-huh. out at the work okay. resort, and it was they had me go out and do what did I do? I read I read a patriotic something and and hosted this event, and it was it was like ten degrees that day, mm-hmm. and I was freezing. Was it during the Veterans Homecoming Week? It was it was years ago out yeah. at the Welk Resort, and they yeah. had the wall up and this and this and yeah. that. And it was so cold that one of the ladies handed me their gloves off their hand. Yeah. You could tell they were ladies' gloves. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So they thought that was really funny. Well, so they framed the gloves <laughs> and put the story, the newspaper, the front page newspaper <laughs> yeah. of me holding the microphone with these ladies' gloves on and put the gloves in the shadow box. Yeah. 